I'm so glad food safety is getting so much attention right now because it's such an important topic. As a food product developer, I have to be thinking about food safety when I'm developing products, when I'm scaling up products. So it's something that's really important and ensuring that this, the food on store shelves is safe for consumers. So a newer type of food business are these direct to consumer companies where they're selling it directly to consumers, typically online, and they're shipping you know, nationwide. So an example of a company like this would be Daily Harvest. I just posted recently about a recent recall that they're going through and there are ways that they are sort of skirting around FDA regulations and not being necessarily up to the same food safety standards as a food manufacturing facility. So this is definitely an area where food safety regulations, in my opinion, need to be improved. Some of these direct to consumer companies are food retail business. Typically that falls to local and state officials. This article, which I will link in the comments, explains it pretty well. Now, while I can't say for sure that Daily Harvest wouldn't have had these same issues if they were registering their facility as a food manufacturing facility, I will say that they would have had to follow more stringent food safety regulations if their facility was registered as a food manufacturing facility versus a retail operation. The FDA hosted a meeting last year to talk about these direct-to-consumer companies and these meal delivery services. Nothing has come about yet regarding uh, changes to regulations, but hopefully something does. In the meantime, like I said in a previous video, just be aware that you could be taking on a little bit more risk if you are ordering food from these companies versus buying food in a grocery store.